All right, guys, here we go. Got us a coon. I have another trap here too, so see if I got anything over there. <clears throat> we had a nice warm night last night, so I expected some some raccoons. This is a big boy here. So Alright, I had a miss, the crick has dropped so much that uh, a lot of my beaver sets I just pulled, I was down to two sets and I actually had a miss on one last night and it was my own fault, yesterday I seen they drug a corn stalk down and it was laying across the tra trap and I said I should go get that corn stalk off here and I didn't, well of course I come back today and uh, traps set with the corn stalk in it so... <clears throat> that was me being lazy but uh we're gonna reset this if not today tomorrow um we're gonna move down i got some more traps put out we're gonna move everything out of here and move it downstream upstream so because they're they're just avoiding the runs that i had set at this point so there's still beaver to be caught so but there's this guy all right so we'll take care of him and uh we'll get back to you stay tuned I guess the set worked. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we go. Got this big old coot, uh, boar coon and a uh, cable. So, we're going to take care of this guy. And, uh, I got another cable here I just can't find. So, But, take him. Not what I was shooting for, but at least it's a big one. So, stay tuned. What's up everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors. And uh Saturday, January 16th. Uh, as you can see, we're getting, getting a decent little snowstorm here. But just walked by my first couple sets. Um got a couple beaver sets to check here and a couple cable restraints way out on the other side of this field so but figured I'd show you the snow all right guys stay tuned all right guys so it is really dumping um, not much going on so let me put you on my head and I'll go to the next traps and we'll see what show you what I'm dealing with once I get going, my, my glasses fog up, I can't see. So I'm almost blind, so it could be interesting. On this trail, I got a blind set, sort of a yard post, and then I got all my cables right here that I'm gonna get off and check. But I don't look like nothing bouncing around. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, I keep saying this is the um, <coughs> form of uh. Close, but no can no catch. I don't know if you can see. There's my pipe right there. I got a pro right there and right there. My pan is right there. <laughs> All right. Well, we're 
it's set heavily here. We got cables. We got this dirt hole up here that nothing really paid any attention to that I see. We got a lot of looks like cats. So, all right, got a couple more traps over the hill. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Jakey Crack here. Um, so it's been a slow run. Um, it has for the past, I mean, since I caught that last coyote, and that was like eight days ago, I really haven't got too much. So, but I walked up on this trap, and we got a nice big beaver down here. Um, my dryers ain't working as designed, but they're holding them. It's just they're not drowning them. So, um, I think my bank here is just tough to work with. It's, uh, it's a real rocky bank, and it's hard to get them in there to bottom. So, I think next year we may go back to cables here and uh, wait. Maybe some sandbags or something if I can find some rocks, to, which I should be able to because it's hard to put the anchors in. So, all right, guys, let me jump down here and uh, pull this guy out. I'll give you another look at him and uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got this uh, set remade here. I ran the uh, the bar out to the right here because there is a little bit of deeper water in. I was able to get it in there. I think what that beaver did is it dug up all the sediment. I was I was anchored and because there ain't nothing straight out anymore so but I'll show you the beaver it's a nice one I'm gonna guess around 40 pounds but there we go maybe I don't know maybe 35 pounds but beaver number five on the season and i think that was actually my goal was five beavers so doing pretty good and i also still gonna do a um i'm hoping the end of february i'm gonna do a week up camp for our otter beaver overlay it'll be the last weekend of trapping coyotes fox and raccoon and uh it's our otter season which is only one week long so i'm thinking i want to finish the season up there and then everything where it belongs at the end of the season and we move on to other things but beaver number five all right guys stay tuned all right guys so here we go it's another big beaver uh i'm gonna say he goes i'm gonna call him 40 pounds been a slow run um i started out this uh i started out 2021 on a bang i caught I was having to catch every single day and then I mean, the past 10 days have just been nothing uh i did have some possums and a couple coon i let go in that in that little period but um it's just been slow um it's getting cold now they're gonna call for a real cold stretch so hopefully that gets everything moving but <clears throat> it's beaver number five awesome all right let me get uh let me get this set up i'll get a weight on him and uh, i'll get back to you all right guys so i don't like this scale um i think it's i think it's been in the weather too long so i'm gonna have to bring a better scale out here but he's saying they're saying 35 pounds and i'll go with it i, I mean like I said, I was guessing 40, and I really don't have much to know. I mean, I'm just guessing. I know when I said 40 and I carried him over here, I thought maybe he wasn't 40. So, 35, he's still a big beaver, though. Uh, all right, guys. Um, probably do it for this video. Uh, it's been a while, so i got to go through and make sure I even got a video here. But um, stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, things turn around. And like I said... We got another probably uh three weeks here and then we're gonna do that relocate back up to camp for the last probably 10 days i'm thinking valentine's day february 14th will probably be when i go up there that'll give me a couple days to get some canine sets going and some uh, skeleton done um the issue i'm thinking i'm gonna have is i'm gonna have ice 
and uh, in my mind, I'd never planned on having ice during this trip. I don't know why I didn't think of ice in the end of February, but so I'm gonna have to um, do some scouting, do some research on what I'm gonna do here, setting for otter through the ice and beaver. Um, I do plan on setting the river, and the river will be open, so I, I know I'll have those at least to go. So it'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. Thank you.